So a subscriber asked recently, is it possible to add or delete the EGR using the multi ECU scan? Apparently he's been to his local garage and they've deleted his EGR. So I'm not quite sure what the reason is for that or behind it, because obviously it could have an impact on his emissions. But we're gonna have a look today and see whether or not it is possible to add and program out or program back in the EGR using the multi ECU scan. So there's a fair bit of reflection on the screen today, but hopefully you can see. So we're just gonna connect back in as normal, just going onto the software Julieta 2 litre. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. I'm guessing it's going to be maybe engine, presumably, in, in terms of the system that we need to connect to. There we go. It's telling us connecting. The key must be on. Fatal error. Make sure that the key's in the ignition. Okay. Now the key's in the ignition. Let's go again. Okay. So we're straight in. And connected so let's have a look see what we've got where's my mouse gone over there there we go okay so we'll have a quick look for any errors first battery detachment absolutely because we did so we'll just clear that error and there we go no errors on the engine so now we'll go to adjustments we'll just have a quick look there's nothing there obviously we've got oil change come over a little bit more reset self learn functions but nothing to do with the EGR so let's look at actuators instead okay so then we can see that we have got EGR solenoid valve and EGR exchanger exclusion valve but because they're actuators it's not going to add or omit it from the system when we click on the EGR it tells us what does it tell us this function activates the EGR valve and controls solenoid so you should be able to observe a clicking sound from the related relay Clicking sound from EGR valve, the correct operation of the selected device, changes in RPM, engine RPM, and sound if the test is executed with engine running. So that's not going to add or emit the EGR. All it's going to do is activate it. So let's come back out of here. And I think this time we'll go into body. And we'll go into the main body 940. Hit connect. Okay, connect yellow adapter. So I'll just get that set up now. Okay, so we can see we've got the yellow adapter connected now. So now we can try and connect again. So we'll just hit connect. Yep. It's much easier using the touch screen than the mouse with these gloves on, I tell you. Okay, so connecting to ECU. So let's have a look what we've got here. So let's go into adjustments, see what we can see here. And all we've got is nothing there for the EGR again. Okay, so for now, let's disconnect. So we'll just come down, hit disconnect. Okay, so now we're back here. What I think I'm going to do is just try and run through them all, see if I can find anything. And if not, then uh, I'll come back and let you know. If I can, then obviously I'll run you through it and show you what I found. Okay, so I've been through just about every setting. And the only setting that I could really find was still on the engine one. When we go into it, obviously this was the one that we saw when we went into the adjustments or in the, the actuators, we saw the EGR that we could potentially control there. We could activate it or execute it and make it work, but that doesn't delete it. When I went into parameters, what I did was just go down, scroll down, and we can see the actual positioning of the EGR. So I can look at that and that one and EGR position control. Uh, the setting that I've got them on at the minute, for whatever reason, <laughs> puts them all around randomly and we can see that the EGR position is disabled currently but if I just select just that one EGR position control this item shows the EGR valve operation as controlled by the ECU so it's not that we can go into it on this setting and edit it to delete the EGR but it's just that it's controlled by the ECU so when I first turned the engine on a minute ago it come through Obviously you can hear the engines running now. It came through and it said that it was enabled because at the moment the engine's only just warming up. The EGR valve is in the appropriate position. So the engine's disabled or the ECU's disabled it. So still going through all of these parameters, the only point that we can find is actually being able to monitor it and have a look and see what it's doing. Not being able to actually delete it or omit it. Okay, so I'm guessing therefore, to delete the EGR, what you're going to need to do is get some sort of tuning set up. So we're going to get the car chipped or, you know, mapped, whatever it's going to be. It's that configuration where you have a different set of boxes to connect to the car. And that's where you're going to basically omit it or delete it from. 
So just another real quick information video for today, specifically for one or two users that have been asking about that. But if you found it likeful or helpful in any way, shape or form, give us a like down below. Please hit subscribe coming up here now and I'll keep making some of these funny little videos. But for now, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.